Hey, what's up, Didja? Didja. Um, <laughs> hello, Didja. Didja Nation. Didja Nation. Welcome back, guys, to a brand new box office video. Yeah, guys. Today, guys, we gotta talk about this new box office that's going around lately. And let's talk about some crazy news that just came out. I know. So, to, welcome back, guys, to do this. Welcome back, guys, to a brand new box office update video I was thinking about doing this into a live stream I was thinking about doing this inside a live stream but I decided no not why not but yeah but today I want to talk about updates of what's going on uh, in the past week or this episode yeah so before we start up this video hit if you do enjoy this video hit that like button down below let's try to get this video to five likes also click that subscribe button if you guys are new here my milestone on this channel is uh, 2,500 subscribers by the end of the year. So yeah, hit me out guys, that would be amazing. Also hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also share this video with your friends and your family. And make sure you guys go down below, go subscribe to my two other channels. The link will be in the description down below. So let's talk about all of these. So yeah. Um... Yeah, um, for the Super Mario Bros. movie, I can pretty much get that one off the list, uh, because, uh, I can pretty much get that one off the list, because, uh, yeah, pretty much I can get that one off the list. Same thing with Guardians of the Galaxy Mario 3. If you guys don't know, guys, this video was supposed to be uploaded on Tuesday, but I went out a timer, I didn't know. I forgot to do it, but I want to let you guys know that Guardians of the Galaxy Mario 3 is now... And you can buy it right now on DVD, Blu-ray, in 4K, Ultra HD. Ultra, Ultra HD, Ultra HD, Blu-ray. And it's on Disney Plus right now, so you guys can watch it, but yeah. But Guns of the Galaxy Fire 3 made another, made another extra million dollars, so it's right now at $843.3 million right now. So it made an extra a million, but it didn't make it... Much higher than last week, but yeah. But that's kind of like the update up related to Guardians of the Galaxy Fire 3. I'm actually going to delete Guardians of the Galaxy Fire 3 because. Why? Because. That movie's already done for you, so yeah. So let's talk about all of them. I'm not going to go out of order. I'm going to go in order and over. I'm going to go out of order. I'm going to keep. Tested, tested. Okay, I think we're still on. Okay, I just checked the audio. Okay, guys, we're back. So, let's go out of order. I'm going to keep Bow people last because that needs to be what I talked about a lot. But, yeah, but let's go out of order for just a minute. And let's talk about the new movie, Hunted Mansion. Now, if you guys don't know, guys, Hunted Mansion has been having a real box office run for quite a while. The film is not making a lot of money. Right now, the last time I checked, it was $333.3 million. Let me go work that up myself. Um, have to mention it. When I work here, right here. So, pretty much it changed a bit more. Right. So pretty much a million dollar extra. So right now it's at thirty five point six million dollars. Yeah. Um, Hunted Mansion's not doing very well at the box office. Uh oh, it's not doing that good. 
I'm going to do this, okay? Okay, it's not really doing that good at the box office lately. Hunted Mitchell. I'm really excited to see what Hunted Mitchell has in the future on its second weekend. But at the same time, Hunted Mitchell is going to fail at the box office automatically. I can bet you it's only going to make $60 million. I bet you it's going to be around $60 million at the second weekend. Or $60 to $70 million at its second weekend. It will make $100 million, but it's not going to make a lot as like the Little Mermaid is making right now. But at the same time, this movie is doing a good job, I'm going to say. Again, not doing the best job at the box office right now, but Hunted Mansion, in general, Hunted Mansion, is doing pretty good. Again, not the best as a lot of people have been expecting it, but, but at the same time, But yeah, at the same time, Hunted Mansion is doing a good job, right? It's doing not really a good job right now. I did find Hunted Mansion is going to make a lot at the box office, but actually, I'm actually pretty worried. I'm actually worried. Hunted Mansion is not going to do a lot of money. I was hoping. Yeah. In my prediction, my prediction is Hunted Mansion won't have made a lot of money. I was predicting it would probably pass the, over the fifty million dollar mark on its first weekend. Where it actually pass around three thirty three million dollars. Yeah, um Yeah, um hard to mention that's that's pretty much doomed. Hard to mention is doomed at this point. But yeah, but at the same time, I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews all over the internet say I have heard like I've heard like 49% Rotten Tomatoes and I think it was like, like around 70 to if I, remember, I think it was like around over 60 to like around 60s to 70s I don't remember, let me go, let me check um, So it says 30% Rotten Tomatoes 83% uh, audience go so Yeah, pretty much, pretty much hard to mention. It's a 30% Rotten Tomatoes and an 87, I think it was, I, I completely forgot in my head, an 87, let me check again, one more time, one more time. 83, okay. And again, with the Rotten Tomatoes being at 40%, and it, 83% uh, audience score. I've been hearing a lot of people say it was enjoyable. I've been hearing a lot of people say it is an enjoyable movie. People does enjoy it. Uh, it was okay. Not a, and I have heard people say it was good. But it wasn't like the best film of uh, July of this year. And if it be August 2nd right now, it's like... Things happen. Uh, we had to mention that. And the more Hunter Mansion doesn't make a lot of money, the more Disney... Disney's in a big difficult... Uh, if Disney's right now in a difficult... Uh, I don't know how to say it, but it's... it's Disney is in trouble at this point of time. Which is good! Disney comic doesn't need to make a lot of money. Because Disney has been doing a, a lot of bad stuff lately in their company. Like, if you don't know, guys, Disney has been doing not very good stuff lately. They have been putting that, uh, uh, I don't know what it's called, LGTQ, LGTQ plus uh, community stuff. Uh, which I'm not a huge fan of the LG, LGTQ. I don't know, the LGBT, I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, the LGTPQ plus community, that's not what it's called. But you guys know what I'm talking about, like Disney say, oh, a boy and a boy can be together, a girl and a girl can be together. That's not good. And Disney's still doing that uh, right now. Now, happy humans, yeah, but for me, 
I'm not saying that I am not giving a gift. I am not going to hate her to mention her. I will check it out when it comes to Disney Plus. Probably in October. I think they're probably going to release it on Disney Plus around Halloween. To get people excited for like the Halloween season. To get people excited because Disney will have a lot of Halloween stuff already out. And they're going to have a Halloween section just like they did last year in 2021. So, pretty much. And we have to remember that this October, Loki Season 2 comes out. Uh, so, oh, this is, yeah. That's what I want to talk about when it's a Hunted Mansion. Again, Hunted Mansion looks exciting, but it's not making a lot of money at the box office. So, yeah. Take that off the list, uh, but like we were going to talk about. Yeah. So, with Hunted Mansion off the list, let's now talk about the live action Little Mermaid film, shall we? So, the live action Little Mermaid film is right now at $564.2 million right now. And let me tell you guys something, okay? About this Little Mermaid film, I have, some, I have heard some good things with it. I have heard some people say it is. Why, why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? It only time does that. Why does it do that? But yeah, talking about the life of the Little Mermaid film just a bit, okay? So. The thoughts about my thoughts about now I haven't seen the film yet. I see the original one, which is by far one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. Hey, let me let me sit down. Uh, let me let me sit down. Uh, now, if you guys don't know, guys, let me give you guys a story that I never told you guys about Disney. There's a lot of Disney girl characters that I love, and I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm, I right now want to tell you guys that I have, uh, this is very difficult for me to explain that we're talking about right now. I want to tell you guys, I got a lot of Disney questions on, in Disney. I want to tell you guys that, okay? Let me talk about that, okay? I got four slash five, okay, I got five Disney questions in Disney. The first one, Elsa, she has been my She's been my. Like, she has always been my Disney crush for quite a long time. If you guys didn't know, guys, if you guys don't know, guys, she has been. My second is, of course, Ariel. Ariel. Of course, the Little Mermaid was by far one of my favorites. Like, she's. Like, the Little Mermaid was. The Little Mermaid was one of my favorite Disney movies, and she's one of my crush. Third. Is of course, if I remember clearly, third is Alice from Alice in Wonderland. If I was her age, yes. Fourth is of course Snow White. If you didn't know, guys, Snow White is my, well, by far one of my favorites. Now, the fifth one uh, was a difficult one. I'm gonna slice this up into two. The five, this is five right here two characters at the number five spot. Aurora from Sleeping Beauty in Milan. Those are by far my five. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, this is yeah. But uh, with this movie right here, make it almost cost, make it right now five hundred sixty-four point two million dollars. This is a box office success. By far, yes, one hundred percent. But yeah, but talking about this film uh, for just a minute, okay? I'm really excited to see what Disney has in store with the future of all live action movies. Disney is slowly going back for making a lot of money. Not really. Like I said before, when I, I was talking about, I was okay, like I was said before, I was talking about Hunted Mansion. Right now, only making over three hundred, only making around thirty-six million dollars. Yeah. The reason why Hunter to Met, the reason why the, 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 life, the life after the Little Mermaid film is making a lot more money than Hunter to Mention, because 
every because people know more about the Little Mermaid than the Hunted Bachelor. Hunted Bachelor was a part of a park. It's a part of Disney World, which I really want to go to Disney World now. Yeah. And Jared, though, the Little Mermaid for me is a enjoyable. For me, I love the original. Wait. Let's get. I love the original film. Okay, I love the original film. I haven't seen the sequel or the prequel. I think it was a prequel. I think it's called Ariel's Beginner Beginnings. I think that's what it's called. Which is supposed to be uh, Little Mermaid Three, but it's supposed to be a prequel. And then we got a remake of this film. Now I don't know where we may, where we are we going to get a remake of the second Little Mermaid movie? Probably, maybe, if this film does a lot, which it did a lot at the box office, so Disney would be like, "Hey, we made this film. Why don't we make the sequel to be just like the second game, the six, the second movie, which I think is about Ariel's daughter. I believe so. Never seen it. I'm already see. I already see the little. I already see the original Little Mermaid, but I haven't seen the remake." Have you seen the remake? Have you seen the sequel? I haven't even seen the... I think it's supposed to be like... Little Mermaid, the Ariel's Beginnings. I think that's what it's supposed to be for. I don't really know, but yeah. But, yeah. I'm waiting until this film gets on Disney Plus for me to watch all of them. But at the same time... I'm... Uh, I have been hearing some good reviews with this movie. I'm pretty excited to see what this movie is about, but for right now... It's right here on the list, and that's what I want to talk about right now. So, yeah. So, that is off the list. Now, let's talk about uh, another new film. Yeah. Let's talk about Oppenheimer, okay? The new Christopher Nolan film. Oppenheimer, let me see if I, if I can work it up. Uh, see if, I, if the box office changed for Oppenheimer. Yes, it has. Okay. So, if you guys don't know, guys. Okay. Okay, talk about... Okay, Oppenheimer. Okay. Let's sit down... And, okay, let's talk about how Oppenheimer... And what... And how well, up, let's talk about how Oppenheimer is making a lot of money right now at the box office right now. Let's talk about how this movie is making a lot of money. Right now, if you guys don't know, guys, Oppenheimer, if you guys don't know, guys, Oppenheimer is right now at $430.9 million. So pretty much the movie made 30, $431 million. Guys. Guys, listen to, okay? Let's talk about the, okay. Listen closely, okay, guys? Alpaheimer is almost cost of $431 billion. Guys. Do you know how well Oppenheimer is doing right now? Oppenheimer just been out for two weeks already, and the movie almost just hit five hundred million dollars. That's Christopher Nolan for you. Christopher, when a Christopher Nolan movie comes out, that film makes a lot of money at the box office. And of course, past Darko, a past Darko uh, at the box office. Uh, and yeah, but talking about Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is one of those universal movies that's doing a great job. Again, I think, uh, if I remember clearly, I think Oppenheimer is the second highest grossest film for Universal this year. I think so. Because uh, Ruby, the new DreamWorks movie that was published by Universal, that film only made around $30 million at the box office. 
And now you can get that film on digital now. And that film is pretty much out of field doors right now. So you can't pretty much watch that anymore. And yeah, so this is going to be a bit weird for a lot of people. But Oppenheimer is a film that a lot of people say it is amazing. But also, this film has some LGBTQ, LGBT, LGBTQ, TQ plus. You guys know what I'm trying to say, right? That LGBT, that LGBTQ plus stuff inside of it. The main character is chasing like a girl, like something like that in the movie, which is not good. But yeah, but I've heard some good things about the movie. I have heard some people say it's by far one of the best films of 2023, by far. How am I going to know if I have not seen it? It's rated O. I cannot watch an O rated movie. The very first movie I have ever seen in rated O was The Passion of the Christ. And I have The Passion of the Christ, which I have seen that last week on Friday slash Saturday. Which I will let you guys know it is a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen The Passion of the Christ, check it out. It's by far one of the best movies ever, ever made. By far one of the best Christian movies ever made. And the second movie comes out next year, so I'm very excited. And this new movie, the actor who plays Jesus in The Passion of the Christ is in this new Christian movie called The Sound of Freedom, which that film just passed around $150 million at the box office. That film needs to make a lot more money. Try everybody. Me and my big brother, Brenda. Me and my brother, Brenda. We really want the sound of freedom to make a lot more money than movies like, of course, this movie, Oppenheimer, the Barbie movie, Indiana Jones 5, Aeromento, Mission Impossible, Dead Ricker in Part 1. Like, all of these other movies, even God of the Galaxy Fire 3. Now, the Super Mario Bros. movie cannot be destroyed, but it will probably be destroyed when I get to that movie. Because there's one film that it's that the Mario movie is right now in trouble now. There's one film I'm going to talk about in just a bit. But for right now, Oppenheimer is almost close to $431 million. And it's really awesome that the two movies released on the same day made a lot of money at the box office. Again, it's crazy. It's super crazy. What would the third weekend be like with those movies? What would the third weekend be like? Will Oppenheimer make it to like around six like five hundred thirty to five hundred thirty million dollars on its third weekend? Yeah. Um, again, Oppenheimer is doing a crazy job at the box office right now. It's doing a big, big, big uh, update in it's really interesting to talk about Oppenheimer because Oppenheimer is making a lot of money at the box office right now. So yeah. And that's it for talking about Oppenheimer for you guys. So yeah. Uh, let's head back. Let's talk about Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse now. But first up, I'm going to see if, I, if the box office changed in this movie. Okay. Okay. Let me have it changed yet. Okay. So. Spider Man across the Spider Verse. Let's talk, folks. So, Spider Man across the Spider Verse. On this weekend, which last weekend, I think last weekend was its eighth weekend, I believe so. Look at how much money, uh, look at how much money Spider Man across the Spider Verse made. Look at how much money across the Spider Verse made at the box office. Six hundred eighty-two put seven million dollars. Okay. Can we all talk about that six hundred eighty-two put seven million dollars? 
can we just talk about that for just a minute? If you guys don't know, guys, this upcoming Tuesday, you'll be able to watch this film digitally. And it's not gonna be, and you're not gonna be able to buy it on DVD, Blu-ray, 4K Ultra HD until September 5th. But yeah, but talking about Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, okay? My prediction is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse could buy a hit 700 million dollars by that time. Which my prediction is. It's probably not going to, but what if it did, it could still make that money. Uh, the percentage of it being at $7,700, 700 for my skill, how much percentage it's going to take. So my prediction is, to make 700 for me, for this film to make $700 million at the box office, Is a 30% is down to 30% to the 20, 25, 30 around the low end uh, of Jets says uh, that Jets says uh, that uh, this film is not gonna make 700 million dollars. It could possibly, when all this is done, it could possibly, but uh, yeah. Do I think it's gonna pass uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 at the box office? Heck no. Let's talk about what, uh, let's talk about Spider-Man across the spider first. Let's talk about this, okay? Spider-Man uh, across Spider-Man uh, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 uh, is at 709 million dollars. Look at that number and look at the number for Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. Across the Spider-Verse. The only way for this film to pass uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 is if it makes... Let me calculate this, sir. Uh, I'm my calculator. So 6, 8, 2 per... No. 6, 8, 2 per 7. Minus... That number right there. Say we do this, okay? So seven oh nine minus six seven two point seven. It needs to make an extra. It has to make a lot of an extra thirty million dollars, which do I think that's still possible? No. I don't think that is impossible. I think it is possible for that film to make that amount of money in no time. I think absolutely it is possible. But for me, like I said before, there's like a 20 to 30% chance. That happening is down to 20, 25 to 30%. I want that because the movie again the movie is not the movie is not going to bomb. I think it only made two million dollars. I don't really know. But I think it's still possible. But yeah, but I'm just saying Spider-Man Cross the Spider Verse gets on digital this upcoming Tuesday on August. Life, uh, like, yeah, an August life, uh, no, an August 8th, I mean, August 8th, and then September 5th is when you can get this film on DVD, Blu-ray, Ultra HD, Blu-ray, 4K Ultra HD, but yeah. But that would be it for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, so, yeah. And now let's talk about uh, Mr. Possible, shall we? Let's talk... Let's go to Mission Impossible, okay?
I'm gonna see if this actually works, okay? I wanna see this. Let me see if I the back surface have straight with this film. Yep, it has. Okay. So. Um. Okay. So, now I'm going to do that. Um, so. Wait, what? Okay. Mission Impossible Dead Reckon Part 1. Just passed. Four hundred sixty-one point two million dollars. Yeah, guys, four hundred sixty-one point two million dollars. Okay, guys. Yeah, four hundred sixty-one point two million dollars, guys. By this next weekend, it will pass over five hundred million dollars, guys. Let's talk, talk about this, okay? Guys, let's talk about this, okay? So on Sunday, I read this article that said that the Mr. Possible Dead Ricker Part 1 has bob, bobbed the, the box office. And I have heard about something on the internet. If this film does not make, repeat, if this film does not make around $600 million, which it was, uh, I, think, I think it was like about 430 million since the last time I checked. I don't remember, but if this film doesn't make over 600 million dollars, then it will break even. It will make an even number and it's going to do all of that. Guys, we, we were, guys, Mr. the Possible Dead Wicked Part 1. I have heard people said this movie right here is by far... The best film of July 2023. I have been hearing people say that this is the best movie of July 2023. That's what I have heard about. Yeah. And I feel like this film for me needs to make a lot of money. By far. It has to pass over $500 million at the box office. It has to. It has to do more money than Oppenheimer. And this will make a lot more money. And with this film released the week, with this film, with this film released the, uh, the same. I think it came out a week after before this. Let me go check. Yes, guys, this is the possible Dead Wicked Part One. Guys, Dead Wicked Part One came out the week before. Oppenheimer and Barbie dropped. So this upcoming week, again, uh, will be its fourth weekend. Again, let's just hope up. Let's just hope this film does good at the box office on its fourth weekend. If it passes over five hundred million dollars, then that's good for certain. That's good for Paramount Pictures, because the only billion dollar film I remember Paramount Pictures did. Uh, no, but, no, if I remember clearly, Paramount Pictures made over a billion dollars on Ruby. Two of its Transformers films, and recently with Top Gun Maverick. And Mission Impossible has never made a billion dollars. So my question is, if Mission Impossible Dead Ricker Part 1 makes over $600 million, what if Dead Ricker Part 2 makes a billion dollars? That could possibly happen. Because I thought that film is probably not going to come out until 2025. So, summer 2025. So, if they could do it, that'd be pretty cool. I've been predicting that there might be possibility 
I talked about this in last week's video, last Tuesday's, last week video, that if Dan Drake win part one and part two makes a lot of money, and if James Gunn really wants to will, and if, and if Tom, and if Tom Cruise does this, like this again, if Tom Cruise does decide, hey, I have a, I have a great idea. Why not I come back for one more Mission Impossible movie to finish up the Dead Rick Green trilogy and then have Dead Rick Green Part 3 final part. And if you can do a three part tour, kill off Tom Cruise's character in the ninth movie while you have Haley Atwell taking over the franchise. So Haley Atwell could be the new Mr. Possible character. Yeah. If I remember clearly, Tom Cruise play Ethan. Now if uh, now if Tom Cruise really was to come back, if Tom Cruise was to come back I'm just saying if Tom Cruise does ever come back to play as Ethan if Tom Cruise does decide if Tom Cruise does decide to, to come back to well Ethan to be back as Ethan for one more film after part two, then we could be getting a dead record part three. I don't really know. If there's a dead record part three, that would be amazing. To make it as the dead record trilogy. Just like the Fast and Furious franchise is doing it. I have heard they like I have heard they make it like a fast X trilogy with Fast X, Fox Eleven, and Fox Twelve. And Fast Twelve. And I have heard for Fast 11 or 12, Dwayne Johnson will be coming back. But yeah, but Mission Impossible 7 is doing amazing at the box office. It will 100% pass $500 million by next week. I'm doubting it to happen. I'm 100% going to say it's going to happen. So yeah, that would be it for Mission Impossible 7. And now let's head right into the next film. Let's have a Transformers Rise of the Beast. Before we do that, I'm going to see if, uh, if uh, the movie made that a bit more reload. Come on. Uh, I want to give you guys a reminder, uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast is now on Paramount Plus. So if you want to watch it now, you can watch it for free. No, not, not for free. What, did, what am I saying? But yeah, no, 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 it did it. Okay. So... Okay, so if everybody was wondering, hey, hey Ninja, what is the update on Transformers Rise of the Beast? Well, if you guys don't know how much money Rise of the Beast is, is, is right now, the movie is right now at $439.8 million, which uh, that's a big problem. This film can, guys... $429.8 million. Jets Firmers Rise of the Beast hasn't even defeated Bumblebee. And this right here. If you guys didn't know, guys, Jets Firmers Rise of the Beast. Beast. Is the. What is, of course, the lowest, highest, is the number one. Worst box office run ever. The number one box office run, if I remember, was I think it was Transformers: Dark of the Moon, which is by far one of my favorite Transformers movies. That's up there. Um, yeah. But with this movie right here, this movie is not making a lot of money as a lot of people has been expecting this movie to be. This movie pretty much. Bombed at the box office, which of course, with almost cost four hundred thirty million dollars, is by it's by far going to pass four hundred thirty million dollars. I don't remember what it was four hundred twenty nine. Yeah, four hundred twenty nine point eight million, four hundred twenty nine point eight million dollars. 
I don't want to talk about this too much because uh, this film has already been out for almost close 60 days already. And it's not going to be on DVD. I think it, it did, I think it did say it would not be on DVD until September. That's what I remember. So yeah. So my prediction is uh, this film uh, will make a lot of money at the box office, but it's not going to make a lot of money as a lot of people has been expected to do. Because Bumblebee is, I believe Bumblebee is at around 460 and this film is making an extra $30 million. There's no way this film is going to make a lot more money. There's no way. It can't even pass uh, 420 million. It has been a part of 420 million for like two weeks. Uh, and it hasn't even passed it yet. It will pass 430 uh, soon. Uh, but at the same time, this film for me, this film is not doing that good in the box office. It's not. Uh, but at the same time, and yeah. But I have from my big brother saying that this is by far one of the greatest movies ever. And a sequel is in the film, but I have heard it's like a Transformers uh, slash G.I. Joe that's going to be coming together as well. What if Sonic was tied, what if Sonic tied into Transformers? Could possibly happen. I don't really know, but yeah. Okay. Let's talk about uh, Indiana Jones uh, in the Die of Destiny. Shall we? Let's talk about Die of Destiny, okay? Um. Um. Give me a minute. Okay, this is the UK trail poster, but but this is by far my favorite poster that we got today. Let's do this. Let me double check the box office this film very quickly. Okay, this film has an update, yeah, but yeah. But if you guys don't know when Indiana Jones and the Die of Destiny is right now, and if you guys don't know what Indiana Jones and the Die of Destiny is right now, it's right now at $356.8 million. And Indiana Jones and the Die of Destiny is 100%. Bobbin is right now bombing the box office right now. This film is right now the biggest, one of the biggest bomb shows of 2023. By far one of the biggest bomb shows of 2023 in the summertime. This film could by far make over 400 million dollars. But at the same time, it's somewhere between where the original Indiana Jones is and where Indiana Jones 3 is. Uh, as well, but by far, I see this film. It was a good movie. It was a very, it is, it was very good. It was a solid, good movie. I was thinking about saying it is okay. It's somewhere between good and okay. It was all right. It was solid, all right. It was solid, but it wasn't like my. It's not like the greatest film I have ever seen. But at the same time, not a huge fan of this movie. So yeah. And, yeah, guys, um, yeah, that'll probably be it for Indiana Jones 5. I just didn't really want to talk about this too much because I just want to give you guys that update that Indiana Jones and the Diary of Destiny is at $356 million. So, $356.8 million. And that's all I want to talk about related to Indiana Jones and the Diary of Destiny. Now it's here to... Okay, let's just skip the flash, shall we? I'm going to remove the flash because, yeah. Now we're here to Elemento, shall we? Now, Elemento is uh, some interesting ones we gotta talk about, okay? We're gonna talk about Elemental for just a minute, okay? Let's talk and see if I Elemental did change its box office or worry. Let me check. No, has it yet? Okay. 
So if you guys don't know what Elemental is, is right now, Elemental is right now at $396.5 million. And if a fishery passed and a fishery defeated, if I remember clearly, I think it actually defeated three Pixar movies, if I remember for right now. Let me go check. Let's talk about this, okay? So, the original Toy Story is at $394.4 million. Guys, Elemental defeated that last weekend with an extra $2 million. That's amazing for a Toy Story. Oh, so that's not it. This film also made an extra $33 million after the box office for um, A Bug's Life. Now, uh, it's not going to be, now, it's not going to pass Toy Story 2. The movie's going to be stuck around $400 million. But the film is not going to pass Toy Story 2. And of course, Bye Bye Master Copperway, it's not going to pass that. Final Nemo, not a chance. The Incredibles, not a chance. But the original Cars, now it will, okay, the original Cars, probably, if it has a big, if the next, if August, if Elemental is big in August, which I don't believe it's gonna be big because I don't believe this film is gonna be pretty big because uh, the new Ninja Turtles movie, the new Ninja Turtles, the new Ninja Turtles movie that comes out today, came out today. That film is going to be making a lot more money than Elemental, but if Elemental can still have a high end of the box office to be like the number five, be like the number five spot, be the biggest film, one of the biggest films, it has to stay up. So yeah, it could possibly pass the first cars, but this film has officially passed the good dinosaurs, so pretty much, uh, so pretty much uh, Elemental passed the the good dinosaur. So, yeah. Also, defeated Cars 3 with an extra 13 million. So, yeah. So, what films, uh, what, the, what is the next film that uh, Elemental has to pass at the box office? With it being closely, with it being closely. Three billion dollars away for four hundred million, which is gonna make four hundred million. Okay, I'm gonna go through all the box office movies that we have right now. We pretty much went through all of this. It's not gonna pass by the two. We by far not a chance. Wally, we not a chance. Up no. Toy Story three by that. No. Cars two no. Brave no. Not you know, uh. Coco no, Incredibles 2 no. So pretty much the pretty much the only film, the next film that Elemental has to pass is the original Cars, which is right now at 462 million dollars. So pretty much Elemental is pretty much done. We have captured up the box office. Now like I said before, if it makes an extra a hundred million dollars by the end of August. If it makes another extra hundred million dollars by the end of August, slash the temper. But here's the problem. I think Elemental is probably not going to be on Disney Plus. It's probably going to be on digital this month. The movie will be on digital this month, but it will not. By the way, hoping. So my prediction is. I'm really hoping. Oh my goodness! It's a Hundred degrees outside where I am right now. I'm, I live in Bitterfield, Arkansas. If you guys don't know, guys, I live in Bitterfield. It's, I mean, I live in Arkansas, but yeah, but it's a hundred degrees right now. And I got to wash cars today. I, I, later tonight, I got a car wash. I had to go to the wash cars, but yeah. 
Oh, oh, oh my goodness. My prediction is Animento will be on Digno August 29th or September 5th. I hope Animento gets on Digno on up t- in September 5th. The same day as Spider Man Across the Spider Verse will be on DVD. If Elemental is on digital that day, that's amazing. That leaves us four weeks for just Elemental at the box office. It feels just for another extra four more weeks to make a lot more money. I pray for Elemental to make a lot more money because I pray for. Because again, Pixar is slowly coming back. Pixar is slowly coming back. And if Elemental does make over $500 million in four weeks, this month, in August, if it makes over $500 million, if it can hit that before its digital release date, before its digital release date, Elemental and Disney is having over my money. Again, I'm really excited to see what Elemental has in store. I have heard that people say that Elemental was a really good movie, and it's my by far one of the greatest Pixar movies ever made. <laughs> yeah. I'm very excited to see what this film can do in the next few weeks. I'm, I hope that this film makes over $500 million. If it does, then that means Disney is slowly, Pixar is slowly coming back. Now, this new this next Pixar film that comes out on, I think it was like March 1st, I believe so. Let me check. Yeah, the next Pixar film comes out on March 3rd, and that film is called uh, Il Melo. Il Leto. Il Leto. I think Electro would make a lot of money at the box office, but it's not going to make a lot of money, so yeah. And you got Inside Out 2, which, here's the question I have, okay? Elemental needs to make a lot more money, because if Elemental slowly goes back up, how much money do you think Elemental is going to make? Uh, how much do you think Inside Out 2 is going to make? A lot of money at the box office. And Elemental still needs to make as much money if it can. If it can pass over $450 million to close to $500 million if it can, it is possible. But my prediction, I have no idea. But yeah. But that would be it for Elemental. I hope it comes to digital next month. I hope it doesn't come at the end of this month. I hope it digital. I hope this film stays in theaters by the end of August. And it's still going to be in theaters when it comes out on digital. Because my prediction is, gets on uh, digital at the beginning of September, and then at the end of September, slash beginning of October, Elemental will be on DVD. So yeah. That'll be it for Elemental, so yeah. And then, we're on our final film, the Barbie movie, which... Guys... Brace yourselves. Guys, brace yourselves. Wait. Guys, brace yourselves because... Oh my goodness, this is going to be a... Tight squeeze. Okay. Okay, guys. So, Bobby is going crazy right now. This movie is becoming a very, very crazy right now. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me tell you guys. The Barbie movie on its second weekend all the way through the rest of this week passed $804 million. And yeah, um, Barbie movie is going to make a billion dollars. By far. 
And my question is, it's by far going to pass a billion dollars on its third weekend. But my question is, the Mario movie is in trouble right now. Because the Bar- because if the Barbie movie makes a lot more money on its third and fourth weekend, Barbie could by far be one of the top 15 highest grossest movies ever made. And yeah, this might be this might be one of Brothers' highest grossest movie ever made. Yeah, um, I'm super shocked uh, that the Barbie movie is at 804 million dollars right now. This film is oh my goodness. The Mario movie is doomed. The, the Mario movie is in big trouble because we did only thought that the Mario movie would be the only billion dollar movie. Barbie would be the second billion dollar movie of 2023. Now, if uh, Oppenheimer does pretty good in the next few weeks and Oppenheimer does pass over five, <coughs> $500 million dollars by its third weekend, yeah, um... Bobby is giving the number two spot in the next few days. Yeah, um... Guys, I'm not a Bobby fan. Bobby is meant for girls. This right here, I don't like it. For me, I'm like, this right here... I will check this movie out in the future. I will. Because I have heard some good feels about this movie. But at the same time, this movie is not bomb at the box office, but be so successful. But here's a problem I have. The Mario movie is going to be in big trouble. Because if, Mario, if the Mario movie cannot stand number one, then that means the Mario people will be very sad that the Mario movie is no longer number one. Well. I think there might be possibility that at the third weekend, it has a big drop. I hope it has a big drop of like $60 million. Or 50 or 40 Because if this film does pass the Mario movie, I'm going to be mad. Very, very mad. The Mario movie, in my opinion, is the best film of 2023 I've ever seen. And it's perfect. 10 out of 10. 100% audience score for me. No problems. There's no problems in the Mario movie. I love the movie. I, I, I don't care about the pacing. I just care about a very good story. And the story of the Mario movie, and the story of the Mario movie in my opinion, is amazing and I love the story. I love the plot. I love the story. I love Chris Pratt as Mario. I love Charlie Day, Charlie Day as Luigi. Entertainer Joy was really good. Jack, Jack Black was amazing. Can't wait for the sequel to come out in 2026. So yeah. But for of course this film right here, the Barbie movie. Ah. I'm hoping it doesn't make it at the number one spot at the box office. Uh, I just hope the Barbie movie doesn't pass. Uh, for me, I just hope it, that the Barbie movie does not pass the Mario movie. I just hope it. Fingers crossed. I'm praying that the Barbie movie does not pass it. I hate Barbies, but I love Mario. I hate Barbies and I love Mario. So that is what I'm talking about. So yeah. And that's all we want to talk about whether it's the Barbie movie right now, but yeah. So, what we're going to do here, guys, uh, is I'm going to end up the box office here, guys. I'm going to end up the video here, guys. Uh, stay tuned for next week. I'll be doing more next week. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Don't forget, go down below. Hit that like button down below. Let's try to hit this video to five likes on this video. If you can do that, let's try to get this video to five likes. Also hit that, also if this is your first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. Help me get this channel to 2,500 subscribers. That's my milestone of this channel. 
I would hit that number by the end of the year. So please, guys, hit me out. That would be amazing. Also, wait. Wait. See you guys. Also, guys, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also, share this video with your friends and the family. And make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my two other channels. Guys, I need you badly to go down below and go subscribe to my gaming channel. Guys, let me give you guys a story. I already told you guys before this channel. This channel wasn't able to get monetized. I can't get monetization on this channel. I accidentally did something and I couldn't get it back. I try to keep on going, keep on going, get a monetization again and again and again. But they always refuse it. Refuse it. But here's what you guys do. I have an idea of how to get monetization. I got a new gaming channel right now. That's right now up right now, which I do reactions, rankings, and gaming videos. And for the second link in the description down below, that channel just passed 300, I think right now, I think if I remember, it's right now 300, let me go check. First up, first up guys, go check out my, go check out my Christian channel as well. I'm going to talk about it a bit, I'm going to talk about a little bit about the Christian channel just a bit. If you guys by the way though, so my gaming channels right now are 357 subscribers right now. Guys, second link in the description down below. Come check out this channel right here. I do a lot of videos on here. Right now I'm on my break right now, my gaming channel. And I'm not gonna be back until next week for more Super Smash Bros content and more whatever the heck I am going to be doing. So go subscribe to my gaming channel. Right now, I have 357 subscribers right now. I need you guys' help on this, on this channel. I'm trying to get this channel to 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. So please, guys, make sure you guys go down below and subscribe to this channel if you guys haven't yet. Please, guys, can we guys do all of that stuff? That would be amazing and that would really, really, really support this channel a lot. Help this channel out. This is the channel I, this is in the future. This will be my main channel in the future. Please guys, go check this channel out. Go subscribe to it if you guys haven't yet. Help me get this channel to 500 subscribers by the end of August. By the end of the summer. So probably by the end of September. So please guys, go do all that stuff. So yeah, so this channel will be the second link in the description down below. Uh, and also guys, make sure you guys go down below, go subscribe to my, so yeah guys. And also guys, make sure you guys go down below, in the final link in the description down below, go subscribe to my Christian channel. And if, I, if you guys don't know guys, my Christian channel, I'm trying to get my Christian channel at the same amount of subscribers, just like my gaming channel, at 500 subscribers by the end of September. So if you guys could go down below and subscribe to my Christian channel, that would be amazing. We get uh, we have a lot of Christian videos coming very soon. So guys, make sure you guys go down below and come subscribe to these channels if you haven't yet. So, yeah. In other words, it's up, so yeah. What channel? No. Yeah, guys. So, yeah, guys. I'm going to end up this box. So, yeah, guys. Both of my main, both of my other channels will be down below in the description down below. As well as my... See so, you, yeah, guys. See so, you, yeah, guys. Stay tuned, guys, because the next week we will talk about the box office again next week. So, stay tuned for that. So, yeah. Don't forget to go down below. Click the subscribe button to join the Ninja. Ninja Nation. I'll be... And stick around, go check out more of my other videos. 
And I will see my movie fans next time. Peace.